Justice for people who are sexually assaulted often depends on good forensic evidence. The Indiana State Police Crime Lab has matched potential suspected abusers to more than 900 sexual assault cases, including rape, through its database. But the question is, how many cases right now are unsolved because those evidence kits have not been tested? 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman shows us what's being proposed to close that testing gap. This is a serious crime, and it happens often. Every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. In many cases, this is where the criminal investigation begins. Well, we are the boots on the ground. On the front line, Holly Rentz and Lori Wilson are sexual assault nurse examiners. The evidence collected is critical to police and prosecutors. Usually we see around 100 to 120 patients a year. But what they don't know is how many of the specimens they collect go untested. Indiana does not have a tracking system following kids from collection to the courtroom. Police and prosecutors are now facing scrutiny over their decisions not to send kids to the crime lab for testing. State lawmakers and victim advocates are working to create a new tracking system. We don't even know how many kits statewide are collected on an annual basis. State Senator Michael Kreider made another disturbing discovery. Thousands of kits never even made it to the lab. A statewide audit last December revealed more than 2,500 sexual assault kits had not been tested. Viable DNA specimens merely sitting in property rooms and refrigerators in 91 counties. The thing that concerns me probably the most is there are a number of those kits that are um, listed as unfounded. According to the audit, an additional 1,600 cases were not submitted to the lab because they were deemed unfounded or a false report. 1,600 cases. But that's a very high number of kits that are coming back. Kristen Polis is with the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault. She says the number of kits labeled unfounded or as false reports here in Indiana comes to about 30 percent of cases. That's way over the national average of 2 to 8 percent. Something is wrong there. The vast majority are telling the truth and they need to be heard. Polis and Kreider both believe a statewide tracking system will provide more accountability. Take out the middleman, so to speak, and not leave it up to the law enforcement and prosecution to determine that. The Indiana Prosecuting Attorneys Council and advocates across the state are trying to identify the best tracking system. 13 Investigates has learned Indiana State Police are already purchasing new sexual assault kits with coding numbers included. Back at Community Hospital Sexual Assault Treatment Center in Anderson. Refrigerator space was, um, was at a premium, and so, you know, one more kit may, you know, what do you do with it? If it Rin says happen. the new kits are also now modified to tackle another growing problem, storage. We no longer collect um, whole blood. So blood is not collected. Instead, we're collecting buccal swabs. So all the specimens that we do collect require no refrigeration. Right now, only Jane Doe kits are exempt from testing under Indiana law. Jane Doe kits are specimens taken from sexual assault victims who choose not to pursue a criminal case. Victims have a year to decide whether to press charges or not. If they don't, those kits can be tossed out. Senator Kreider says, all other kids need to go to the crime lab. My goal ultimately is to give victims the very best chance for justice. Advocates want that tracking system to allow victims to see their updates on their testing in real time. Now, one of the systems the group has been reviewing is in Michigan. A recommendation is expected before the end of the year. Senator Kreider also plans to introduce more legislation to get it going early next year. Anne and John. Thank you, Sandra.